You know, one of Arby's latest slogans was, We've got the meats. Well, if you've visited one Arby's recently, specifically in Vancouver, Washington, you might have something else besides just the meats. We're going to get into all the details of this crazy story, guys, in less than 10 seconds. First, if you could, if YT lets you hit the like button, share the video, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Oh, Arby's, uh, this is not the first time that I have done a story about Arby's and a crazy manager. Before I even talk about this one here in Vancouver, Washington, just a couple of years ago, there was an Arby's manager that had a customer spit in their face. And do you know what this manager did? She was so enraged by this. I mean, of course, anybody would be. You have a customer do that to you. She actually left the restaurant, got into her car, followed this customer in her car out of the parking lot, chased her down the street and ended up shooting her. That's right. This is Arby's, ladies and gentlemen. So you had that a couple of years ago and there's plenty of other stories out there on Arby's as well. But now this latest one coming out of Vancouver, Washington, you got a manager, another manager. It's never the employees, it's always the manager. Manager by the name of Stephen Sharp, who was arrested on May 10th. But for not just one incident, but for multiple incidents. Footage inside of the Arby's. This is what a genius this guy is. Showed the manager, and there's, by the way, video of this that's surfacing all over social media right now of the manager urinating in the milkshake mix disgusting according to police when they questioned the manager about this he admitted it i mean it's on video too but he said he did it at least twice it could be much more. I mean, he says at least two times. And his reason for doing it, they said, his own personal gratification, if you get what I mean. That's disgusting. As far as the number of customers that were reportedly uh, exposed to the milkshakes here that the manager had urinated himself you know urinated in into they're saying at least 30 to 40 customers had purchased one of these milkshakes after the manager did his business in there they are now attempting to contact these customers to let them know what in fact had happened i would expect huge lawsuits coming arby's way after this took place god forbid any of them get seriously sick after this who knows what this guy has oh but, but but let me even get to the other part of this because again praying all these people are okay uh after what this manager did but not only was he just you know fired from his job there at arby's and and, and, and arrested for what he did no no he was also arrested for having possession of inappropriate child images and videos in his possession that's right he was charged on four counts of having possession of that but also distributing those images and videos police also said that apparently at least one video of these uh, of these terrible situations involving these kids was actually downloaded there at the arby's itself this was a franchisee arby's was actually downloaded there police had found all of this you know on his phone and you know other personal you know uh, computers all that stuff so he's looking at doing some serious time you know arby's you know you know national corporate had released a statement about this and said they're doing everything with the local arby's there in Vancouver, Washington, they're working with the police. They're trying to reach these people. I, I mean, this is a bad look. I mean, you might not have liked going to Arby's before, but I mean, 
this is the kind of thing that they're doing. Now remember, companies are you gotta you gotta know they're desperate to hire anybody right now. I don't know how long this guy worked at the Arby's, especially as a manager, but when you are so desperate to get people into your, you know, your place of business, these are the type of people that you could be potentially bringing in. And for him to say that he did this in the milkshake mix for his own personal gratification, these, these people are, 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 they're mentally gone. They're not there. They need Jesus is what they need. I mean, more than anything else. This world, ladies and gentlemen, is spiraling out of control. Now, I'm going to put more on this story down below in the description if you want to check it out. And always, too, guys, if you enjoy my daily content here talking about end time Bible prophecy headlines and you want to support my ministry with a generous donation, you click the link to my PayPal down below. And also, you can click the link to my Patreon. If you want, you could sign up there five bucks a month. I recommend that. When you do that, you're going to get alerted for all the content I put out. You can't rely on YT to give you all these alerts. I mean, I'm censored pretty much on all levels here. So you get all the alerts. You can also comment completely censorship free. Also, send me direct messages. So again, all those links are down below. Big, big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. Now, we're not done yet. As always, we want to give everybody an opportunity. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to give you that opportunity right now. I'd like to lead you in a prayer. Look, we're leading, we're living in the last days, and Christ is coming soon. This world is out of control, as I mentioned. If you have already accepted him into your life, I want to lead you in that, pra that prayer right now. This is a prayer you can do in your own words, but I'll give you the steps you need to bring before the Lord today. Here's the first thing you want to do right off the top. Acknowledge that you are a sinner. That's something that we all are. But let me tell you the good news. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he wipes that sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more on this for you guys down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.